Uh, I would like to think in the same country as you, as you said, that individuals are granted privacy 100% and states are obliged to transparency. But as far as my knowledge goes, uh, Bitcoin is 100% trackable. Is 100%? Trackable. Trackable. Track back to every wallet that passes through. So how can you ensure 100% privacy to individuals and to their own private transactions through Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency in a world like this, especially with uh, technologies like one name that somehow uh, goes in a direction where individuals trading may be forced to somehow be tied in sense. Thank you. Yeah, that's a great question. I think you've got to understand that Bitcoin is not 100% trackable. Maybe it's 75% trackable right now. You, if you compare that to Visa, which is 100% trackable, every time you make a Visa transaction, it's not just the Brazilian government that's watching you. It's like 10 different intelligence agencies all watching you at the same time. In fact, it's probably illegal for the Brazilian government to watch you. So what they do is they probably outsource it to Argentina and you watch the Argentinians. That's usually how it plays out. <laughs> it's a nice way to get around democracy. Payment systems as we have them are 100% trackable. Bitcoin is 75% trackable now, but it's getting more private and will continue to get more private as time goes by. We have incredible innovations in the pipeline that take it from something that is partially trackable to something that is less and less trackable. You've got to understand there's a difference between mass and individual. Right? Bitcoin makes it possible if you have an individual who is suspected of a crime, and if there is proper judicial process to seize their computers and their wallets and see their addresses to track everything they've done. And that perhaps is desirable in society. What it makes it difficult to do is do mass surveillance of the innocent. And again, that is desirable in society that you can't do that, or certainly can't do it easily. But there's more inventions coming down the pipeline. Stealth addresses, confidential transactions, remixers, there's hundreds of other cryptocurrencies that you can convert your Bitcoin into and out of very easily. The entire system opens up a lot more freedom and privacy. And over time, it will get better, and we will have more and more privacy and anonymity in Bitcoin. So, and if you look more broadly than Bitcoin, there are certainly other cryptocurrencies that offer even more uh, privacy and anonymity for individuals. So, I'm quite optimistic that we are turning the tables and setting the world correctly, where we have privacy. And governments don't have secrecy. <laughs>